Okay, so this is the aftermath. All we gotta do now is drill these two holes out for two bolts on each side. Um, we took out 10 inches of this bar, 10 inches of this bar, 10 inches of the bottom bar, 5 inches of this stuff, right back here, and a couple inches of that, you really can't see it. Pins 5 inches in diameter and we cut it with that DeWalt chop saw over there. But we're almost done. Just got to drill two holes here, two holes over there, and here's all the stuff that we took off of it. Two pieces of pin, four 10 inch sections of the two and a half inch thick, and then all those small little pieces. It's about uh, five to six, between six, five and six hundred pounds all together. And we need to make a canopy for it, but uh, he's going to go weigh it and see if we're within guidelines of it. You can see we're right at the tire there. And we're right at the tire there as well. Um, the problem we have now is that the forks are off, but that's not our fault because this carriage, this whole carriage here is bent back like that so when the forks are out when the forks are moved together the forks are even so it's not a, it's basically not a problem if you move the forks in and out together so if you move this fork which is all the way in if you move this one all the way out they'll be even. If you move this one all the way in, they'll be even. So as long as you move them together, they'll be even. But, and we found out this is what we're trying to make it for. Number one is why the we gotta put the bolts is because they're trying to make this move, which is a crane. But the problem is that pinhole is an eighth of an inch too small. So they got to take it somewhere and get it line bored because we don't have a line boring machine because they're $15,000 and they need to get it done. Um, I did drain about a gallon of water out of the air system, out of the air tanks. Each air tank's probably only four gallons. So uh, the air compressor. Uh, the air compressor belt was loose. I was up over on that side behind the, the driver's seat, the operator seat, and uh, the air compressor belt was loose from that side. So I went over. You got to uh, tighten the, you got to twist the air compressor in order for uh, the belt to tighten up. So I went over on that side to check the belt out, to tighten the belt up, and the air compressor, the bottom bolt wasn't even tight. It was moving, the air compressor was moving side to side an inch and a half. So I had to tighten that down and the one ram leaks like a bitch up top, but oh well. It's got an air leak, it loses 120 pounds of air in about a minute from the kickoff at 120 to you shut it off and I had to do a whole bunch of stuff to the emerg uh, the uh, shutdown and uh, yeah oh well it's a Detroit it's a 8 8.2 8.2 or 8.5 Detroit 4 stroke uh, yeah it's not a bad forklift it's a uh, 40,000 pound capacity is what the uh, I think it's right here somewhere. It's on this side. It's Forty thousand pound capacity. Yeah, right there on the bottom. Forty thousand pound capacity lift all. So I thought it was only a twenty, but it's actually a. They have another weight 
that they can stack on top and tie it down. But, uh, anyway. That's what we've been working on. That's what we've been doing. So, yeah. Have fun. Thanks for watching.